Welcome to the University of Leicester. Want to take a look around? Follow me and some of my fellow students as we show you our campus. The Fielding Johnson Building is our main administration building and is also where you find Leicester Law School, including Harry Peach Law Library and Moot Court. The building is named after Thomas Fielding Johnson, who donated the original site to the University of Leicester all the way back in 1921, in order to create a living memorial for all the local people who made sacrifices during the First World War. Need a book, computer or access to journals? Welcome to the David Wilson Library. The library has everything you need to get you through your studies. It is open 24 hours and has all the resources you need to study. It even has its own eSports lab. If all the books in this library were on one shelf, it would stretch from here to Nottingham. That's almost 28 miles. The Athlete Clark Building is a teaching and learning space on campus, which is named after one of the University of Leicester's founders, Dr. Athlete Clark. In 1914, Dr. Clark was an active part of the Territorial Army. He was appointed administrator of the 5th Northern General Hospital, which resides in what is now Field and Johnson Building. When University College opened in 1921, he was appointed vice president. In 1956, the first new building to be constructed on campus, since its original purchase, was named in his honor. This is Centenary Square. It is an open space where we hold events such as Curious Fairs and Winter Wonderland. The square was opened in 2018 by Sir David Attenborough, who grew up in College House just over there. College House was the home of Sir David Attenborough and his family when he was a little boy, as his father was the principal of University College Leicester in the 1930s. David and his little brother Richard quite literally left their mark on the University of Leicester. Here is the Attenborough Arts Centre, home to contemporary art, theatre and creative courses. Here we champion emerging talent and disability-led artists, supporting those starting their careers. As well as a cafe, music practice rooms and social and study spaces, the centre offers students the chance to attend free drop-in craft sessions during term time. The Charles Wilson Building is home to Delicious, Postgraduate Student Lounge, Global Student Lounge and our prayer rooms. It's a great place to see your friends and grab an affordable lunch. The Percy G Building is home to the Students' Union. You can come here to sign up to student societies. We have over 200. You will also spend a lot of your time here eating in Campus Kitchen. You can get everything from pizza and jerk chicken to loaded fries, whilst relaxing and making friends. You can also find our student support service and our careers and employability service here. On the top floor, we have brand new computer science labs with state-of-the-art facilities for our students. You may know that O2 Academy is a chain of live music venues. But what you may not know is that the University of Leicester is the only university with one on its campus. It plays host to a number of music events, including Scouting for Girls, Don Broco, You Me at Six, Maisie Peters, H, and is also a great student night out. If you study chemistry, you'll spend a lot of time here in George Porter building. What's really interesting about this building is that there's a periodic table inside which has all the elements of the earth, except the radioactive ones, of course. The Bennett Building is where you'll find the School of Geography, Geology and the Environment. It is also home to our very own Tyrannosaurus Rex, Jane. She's a teenager and is the only sub-adult T-Rex skeleton in Europe. This is our Archaeology and Asian History Building. Over the years we've made some amazing discoveries, including Roman mosaics, Iron Age shields and we even helped to discover and identify a king. There's also our Physics Building. The academics that teach here have designed equipment that's on their way to Mercury right now and there's an actual 1950s rocket right behind me. This is Space Park Leicester. It was officially opened in March 2022 by astronaut Tim Peake and builds on over 60 years of heritage and space science expertise at the University of Leicester. Space Park Leicester provides collaborative opportunities for research and development, innovation and enterprise, as well as an unparalleled range of educational development and training opportunities. The engineering building is home to, you guessed it, the School of Engineering. Built to house two lecture theatres and a range of labs, the unique glass roof is angled at 45 degrees to the Attenborough Tower and the Engineering Building Tower, and face north to provide illumination without direct sunlight, which could affect delicate instruments. Built in 1995, the Ken Edwards Building is named after a former Vice-Chancellor. Formed of a variety of teaching spaces, including lecture theatres, seminar halls and designated rooms, the building sits opposite the Fielding Johnson Building and next to the Percy G Building. The George Davies Centre opened in 2016 and is home to research and teaching across life sciences, including medicine and psychology. It houses state-of-the-art teaching and learning spaces and is also a record breaker. It's officially the largest non-residential passive house building in the UK. 
Just a short walk or a five minute journey on our free shuttle bus from Central Campus, you'll find Brookfield, the University of Leicester's business school. It's an old Victorian building that used to belong to a local wealthy businessman who helped found the university in 1921. We've recently redeveloped Brookfield, turning it into a state-of-the-art business school, complete with a Harvard-style lecture theatre, seminar rooms, a Bloomberg-style trading room, and of course a cafe for you to refuel. Located in Odeby, only a 15 minute journey on our free shuttle bus from campus is the village accommodation. Here you can find a wide range of rooms from our purpose built accommodation to our old Edwardian houses with the botanical gardens right next door. The Roger Battle Sports Centre can be found in the village. This is a fantastic sports centre for students, particularly those that live in the village. You can find a swimming pool, state-of-the-art gym and lots of classes, as well as our all-weather astro pitch, lots of tennis courts and many different grass pitches. We also have another gym on campus. If you're the type of person who likes to roll out of bed five minutes before a lecture, then the city accommodation is for you. It is located a five minute walk from campus and has recently been constructed as part of a £150 million investment and includes new purpose-built buildings, rooms and social spaces. Freeman's Kitchen and Bar is located only five minutes walk from the centre of campus, close to the Sir Bob Burgess Building and city accommodation. It's open until late and has a range of food, drinks and activities including pool table, a cinema room and arcade games. Our residential advisors also host events here throughout the year. The Sir Bob Burgess Building is located in Freeman's Common, only five minutes walk from the centre of campus. Named after our longest serving Vice Chancellor, it was part of our 150 million development and opened in 2022. With two large lecture theatres and a range of versatile studying and teaching spaces, it's a hive of activity with a lovely courtyard outside and with Freeman's Kitchen and Bar located right next door. There's also Freeman's Cottages in which you can find 24 hour reception alongside studying and social spaces. This is Daniel Brown Sports Centre, which is located right on campus. Our sports centre boasts with a swimming pool, state-of-art gym and lots of group classes. Victoria Park is right on the doorstep of campus. When the weather is good, this place is full of students playing football, frisbee or even Quidditch. It's also a great place to revise or hang out with an ice cream or a coffee between lectures. And just across the way there is Clarendon Park. This is where a lot of second and third year students may choose to live. And as you can see, it's just a short walk from campus. Thank you for joining us on this University of Leicester campus tour. For more information, visit le.ac.uk.